Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. It is beautiful over here in Pasadena, California. Wonderful day. Beautiful day. You guys, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I have a live stream, which is just about every day. We have a great community of XRP enthusiasts and cryptocurrency enthusiasts alike who come into the live stream and give their input every single day. And there's something really uh, fun that we talk about every single day, different different things that we talk about. Um, now, we, we uh, I, go, I go about uh, XRP news. I, I go uh, into theory. I go into conspiracy theory. I go into price action. I go into it all. Okay, that's a lot of reasons to hit the notification bell, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up because of the algorithms YouTube uses to push content. Thumbs ups, comments, subscriptions, notification bells. They all contribute to what the algorithm does for my content. All right. Now. The content of this video. I'm gonna give credit to B nuts. Bearable guy calendar theory, price lid, level playing field. David Schwartz's article on XRP and the XRP ledger, XRP USD chart, XRP coin market cap, quantum financial system, Bitcoin controlled by the Fed. Kent Lewis, David Schwartz and Gematria, regulatory clarity. And a shout out to Brad Kimes and the Bearable. Let's go. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna give a credit to my man, Sick TA, B Nuts, for telling me something very close to the pre allocation theory before the theory even existed. Now, I had an interview with, with B Nuts on my channel about two months ago. I streamed it live. A few of you guys were lucky enough to catch it. Um, I, I highly suggest you go check it out. I left the link on my Twitter. Now go follow me on Twitter. I left the link here. This is probably the last tweet I tweeted, I think. Um, I left the link to the interview on uh, my last tweet here. So go check it out, okay? It's this one right here. The future of XRP in the new financial system. Interview with Nuts Now, he, he explained something to me that sounded very close to uh, Brad Kimes' pre-allocation theory, and it just gives more legitimacy to it. And, and it, it's a, a, a bit of a different perspective to it. However, it's basically the same thing. Basically, B-Nuts was telling me how Ripple, to set up, to help set up the new infrastructure, Okay, to get the, the key legislative players on their team to help them pass bills and legislation and put this into law and help move along the new quantum financial system. There was a pre-allocation model that they used to where they would help these uh, these uh, these lawmakers out financially by giving them a set amount of XRP with the promise of utility driving the price in the future. Okay. This is very um, easy to easy to put together. It's very logical to me. I mean, they would never tell us this. Obviously, there's non-disclosure agreements, but also there's, you know, they don't want any competitors knowing exactly what's happening. They can't let this information out because competitors would do everything they can to stop it. That's how it goes. That's why there are non-disclosure agreements made in the first place. And please excuse the, the, the traffic in the background. This is the only this is the best spot I could find at the moment with the best Wi-Fi at Starbucks. Anyways, please go check out that video, guys. Um, I would highly suggest it. It's just one of the pieces we could put together. And um, it would help us to uh, legitimize the theory behind the very high value of XRP in the future. Now, moving on, we've gone to David Shorts. Now, there's a lot of things. It's been a long time since I recorded a video. I've been doing live streams just about every day. So that's why you should hit the notification bell, 
so you can be part of the live streams. Now, I haven't done a video for a while, so there's been a lot, a lot happening in the background that I have not, I haven't been able to touch on in one of my videos, which are way more far reaching than my live streams. All right. Now, so David Schwartz, the creator of the XLP ledger and XRP itself. Um, well, he's a co-creator uh, along with Jed McCaleb. Now, David Schwartz, okay, since the, since the last time I did a video, he's done a lot. He's made a lot of uh, cryptic, if you will, tweets. Okay, to some level, some people don't believe that they're cryptic. To those people, dive deep, you know, open your mind, expand your mind, and open your mind to the possibility. This is a guy who, he, he uses cryptology and it's a crucial part of his career, okay? So if you don't think he has that kind of mind, which is a multi-leveled intelligent mind, okay? This guy is extremely smart. He can, he can do computations in his head very, 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 very fast, okay? He's, a, he's not your average Joe, all right? Now, he's made plenty of advancements on his Twitter feed, um, which is the most public way to show you know people um what you think and, and twitter is a great way to um to post things you that you know and 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 on a multi on a multilateral level all right now um he posted a picture of him a painting with the background is gold okay the pirate eye patch for xrp the same one that madam x used same one that um you know the same one that uh, uh, what's her name? Madonna used. Okay. Now the significance of the, the eye patch, a lot of people think that, you know, the eye patch is for pirates who got their eye stabbed out. Okay. There's a symbol. This, there's actually a logical reason that pirates used eye patches. The reason is, is this, if they were to go below deck, okay, the, the, the lens of their eye, adjust very slowly from light to dark okay so it might take up to 20 minutes for them to fully adjust now pirates use eye patches because if you had one eye covered and then you went to the dark your eyes adjust and then all you have to do is switch the eye patch over to the other eye all right in the midst of a sword fight or something like that because this is actually real these things happen quite often in uh, pirate land okay so they would switch the pirate at the, the patch over to the other eye, go down below deck or whatever, and they'd be able to see instantly. Okay, that's the significance of the eye patch. Now, symbolically, what does it mean? Light to dark, dark to light, instantaneously. Okay, there is a symbolism to this eye patch. It's not just because he felt like putting an eye patch on. By the way, he had someone paint this of him, but he put it up okay there's a reason there's an eye patch there there's a reason for the eye patch dark to light now if you look at uh bearable guys pick color photo he has dark to light dark light to dark the eye patch symbology guys there are way there are a ton of coincidences guys when it comes to bearable guy and david shorts all right I'll get to all of them through the video. I'm gonna try to make it as short as possible and condensed. We'll see how we'll see how that goes. You know, um, I have a ton of information, guys. A ton of information for you. And I and I highly suggest you put on your quote unquote tin foil hat. Okay, open your mind, expand your mind. Okay, they call it tin foil hat. You know, um, they they say conspiracy is crazy. Okay. But the ones who classify conspiracy as uh, crazy are the ones who have the most to hide. All right? Just remember that. Now. We're going to go along down here. Now, in a way, David Schwartz showed us. Um, he showed us ahead of time a bag. I want to show you this tweet. Has the world gone mad? September 14th. 10 days before September 24th. Now, 
I did save it down here. So that way I can zoom in a little bit. Now, check it out. He took a picture of this. He said, and, and obviously on the surface, it looks like he's he took a picture of a bag of uh, popcorn, caramel, and cheddar, cheddar mix, sweet and savory, as the world gone mad. He's basically saying, what? You know, why, it's crazy that they would put caramel and cheddar popcorn together. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, I can think of a, a billion other much more crazy things that he could have posted. However, I think it was much more than that. Okay? There are so many things he posts that we can dive deep into, guys. That's why you love my channel. Now, check it out. The date, September 24th, before the SEC and Congress Hi. hearing was even announced, he posted this picture, okay? Now, first of all, uh, a lot of things come to mind, okay? The gold color in the background, corn. Popcorn equals crypto in Gematria, by the way. Now, September 24th was the date of the SEC hearing at Congress, okay? Now, the hearing was the start of regulatory clarity talks between Congress and SEC. Basically, I did a live stream, guys. I'm going to show you. I'll take you to the page right now. Is that it? I did a live stream. By the way, go subscribe to my channel. Okay, I did a live stream down here yesterday, four hours long. I didn't even plan on it, but I did it because it was very important and it was a great hearing. You guys need to go watch it, okay? Um, you can start at like the 10 minute mark here and that's when it starts. Four hours long, I stream the whole thing. It's, it's definitely worth a watch. Now, other reasons to check out my videos is because I talk about things that a lot of other people don't like to talk about. I am fearless, guys. I don't care if they wanna push down my channel, if they wanna suppress my videos from being seen, I don't care because I like the truth and I want the truth to be told, okay? I'm not gonna shift my views and the way I put my views out due uh, to, to YouTube's standards. I don't care. I don't like what YouTube's doing. I don't like what Google's doing by suppressing the truth and only putting out content that glorifies their agenda. I don't like it. That's why they're doing an investigation. The 50 state general, uh, general attorneys, okay, except for California's and Alabama's, and you know, California's isn't because that's where Google's located. They're all doing a big investigation, a bipartisan investigation on Google for what they do to people like me, okay? They don't, they won't push out my content. They won't push out the truth. It's very messed up. But things are changing. Q has been telling us all about this. Jasara is part of the new quantum financial system that's being introduced. I go into that. You guys need to go watch these, these streams here, okay? There's a lot of them that I do, guys. Now go check out some of the streams I do on the quantum financial system. I will go into the quantum financial system a little bit in this video, not too much. But if you're if you want to know more about it, go watch this video. Okay, go watch. Um, I did another one here that's really good. This is the best one. You need to go watch this one on the quantum financial system. Okay, go to my videos, go down and click on it. Give it a listen or give it a watch, and soak it in, and then make your own decisions on if how much of it you believe, how much, what pieces you can put together logically, okay, to to uh, to put the puzzle together, all right? Now, we're going to go to, um, now, David Schwartz, right, I'm going to go back to his photo here that he put up. Now, he also did, he did this date, and that's the big thing I took out of it, okay? I was hoping maybe 399 was going to be a big short squeeze that he was predicting. I don't know. You know, I don't know when that'll happen. It'll happen. I don't know when. But, however, the, the, the next thing I want to point out is this mason jar with the lid off. Now, also, a gold-colored caramel is uh, pouring into it or pouring out of it. It doesn't matter. Okay? But gold-colored. What is cheddar? Cheddar's money. Okay? What color are these all? What, what's the biggest color tie-in that we can 
you know, uh, point out here, gold corn, gold cheddar, gold caramel, okay? Cheddar, I mean, cheese, you know, liquid gold. Velveeta, come on, gold, gold, gold. Now, however, there's another thing I want to point out. The open mason jar, the price lid is off. This is the beginning of the price lid coming off the level playing field, guys, right here. September through you know, December, the level playing field. September 24th marked the first date of the discussion of regulatory clarity between Congress and the SEC. Now, I watched the whole thing. I've, I've streamed it. I want you guys to know that they, Congress is putting pressure on the SEC now because they need regulatory clarity to come out. Okay, Companies in the crypto space are moving internationally. They're getting out of America because of lack of regulatory clarity. They don't know what's going to happen. They're moving out of America. Okay, they're taking their business elsewhere and they're setting up camp across the across seas. All right? Congress doesn't like it. They don't want business coming going out of America, especially in in a uh, a, uh, a tech space like fintech, okay? Cuz it's exponentially growing in business and the capital that's going to come into the fintech space is massive guys now that pales in comparison to the quantum financial system theory okay because that when you believe if you look into that that states that the whole financial system is going to change big time our our whole lives it will affect every single person here in america over in europe over in asia over in africa all across the whole world all right now david schwartz did put out and and when i say price lids about to come off i'm talking about this one okay that was an homage to bearable guy okay light to dark dark to light he put this out august 17th regulation molasses by the way molasses in gematria is september all right, the price lid about to fall out, but first the bears are gonna be below it. It's going to fall. XRP just took a big dive, guys. You know that. You know that. Now it's gonna fall, and then the price lid will come off, and it will be able to grow organically from there because I believe they've been introducing more tokens into circulating supply every time the price tries to go up. Therefore, suppressing the price down below, okay? Because they do not want XRP to be ruled, to be classified as a security. If it was classified as a security, then every XRP token holder would then become a Ripple shareholder, all right? That cannot happen because the utility of the XRP depends on it being classified as a utility token all right as a digital asset all right they cannot have it happen like the way sec wants it to happen or the, the guy who held xrp for like two weeks and is now suing ripple because he thinks xrp should be classified as a security basically a money grant a money grab sorry all right you guys it's all happening. Listen to the information I'm telling you. Okay? Soak it in. Take what you like out of it. Take what you think is logical. Open your mind and put the pieces together. Okay? Now. Also, um, another comparison between David Schwartz and Bearable Guy. 321. Yugo Bro. All right, is that the backgrounds of each picture has gold in it. it their, their pictures are both backed by gold, okay? Now, remember the Trump picture that we just saw with his tie? He uses symbology too, guys. He uses gematria. He uses symbology. Um, they use pictures to show us what's coming. Now, it was basically a classic picture that, that we just saw um, posted all over the mainstream media with him going up the, the guard, uh, the, the stair rails, of into air force one okay him holding on to the silver rail okay the silver bar all right 
and his gold tie flipped onto his back. A $20 bill, a couple of them, sticking out of his back pocket. What does that symbolize to me? Gold-backed dollar. We are going back to a gold standard, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not, all the signs point to us doing that. Okay? Now, Trump impeachment proceedings started yesterday. That does not mean he's going to get impeached. Just because they want him impeached doesn't mean he's getting impeached. I will believe it when they come out and say Trump has been impeached. And when he admits it, okay? Otherwise, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, Trump impeachment, um, the, the hashtag on Twitter right now is impeach Trump. You put that into Jamatria, it says Bitcoin bank run. That hashtag came out yesterday. Yesterday, there was a Bitcoin bank run. Imagine that. The elites using Jamatria to signify a point in time that is important to them. Maybe they've been giving given the hashtag. Maybe they were they they all knew ahead of time. The elite, the ones holding the most Bitcoin, who control it, which, by the way, could definitely be controlled by the Federal Reserve. We'll get into that in a little bit. Now, you're gonna love this video if you are, don't already love it. I have so much information for you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Now, let's go on to the XRP price chart and why I think it's going to go lower. Okay, but first of all, on the XRP chart, XRP chart on coin market cap. All right, I want to show you something that I pointed out a little while ago that I'm sure other people have noticed too. But whenever the orange line, which is the XRP against Bitcoin price, okay? So if you were to sell it against Bitcoin all the way down here and buy Bitcoin, um, you would have lost a lot of money. If, unless, like, ex uh, um, you know, if you had sold it up here against Bitcoin, you would have gained a lot of money, right? So, because the price was higher than Bitcoin, much higher relative to Bitcoin. Now, every time the orange line, the Bitcoin, the XRP Bitcoin price comes down like this, it always blows up. The closer it gets to the US dollar price, now look it, it came all the way down here, they touched, they were intertwining for a while, and then it blew up. They almost touched down here, it blew up. They they almost touched down here, it came down. They, now they're, now it looks like they're more people are buying XRP with the U.S. dollar since it came out on Uphold and uh, Coinbase. Okay, so the correlations here are um, a little more similar. Now, however, the Bitcoin price has gone up, yet XRP price has stayed relatively down and not up and not too much down either compared to the fluctuation in Bitcoin price. All right. Again, I sincerely apologize for all the background noise here. Um, this is, believe it or not, this is the quietest place I could find at the moment with Wi-Fi. So I, they're doing construction next door. Sorry about that. However, let's go back to the chart. Now, down here, every time they touch, and look, they've been touching for quite a while now. We're going to see a big price fluctuation soon, guys. I believe it will be very soon. Now, let's go to the trading view chart. I want to show you why first, before a big blow up, I want to show you why I think it's going to come down again first to 15 cents. Okay? Now, this was the chart. I have not looked at this chart for like two months. Okay? But all the lines I drew, it, it respected the lines and then it, you know, it respected all the lines I drew. Look. So, back when I, the last time I looked at it, um, I made this funny little drawing because I was really hoping it kind of looked like it was going to blow up from there. However, I was being naive. We were being naive thinking that it was going to blow up. I remember last September, we thought this was the big one. 
we thought this was the big one. X Rapid was being tested and all of a sudden in one day it went up almost 100%. Okay? Now, it comes down, comes down, comes down, goes up a little and we thought it was going to break out of this big triangle, this consolidating uh, bull pennant. It looked like a bull pennant, you guys. It really did. It broke out, false breakout, came back down, went up. We were hoping it was going to go up from there. Nope, it didn't. It broke out of it. Okay? It broke out of it, came back down, respected this trend line for a little while, but not too, not too much. Okay? Now, this looks very strikingly similar to the pattern we're in right now, okay? And that, for that reason, I think we are going to go back down, okay? Um, now, I, th I think this is on the monthly or, yeah, this is on the monthly. So, look, it's going to come down. It came down. It's still looking very bearish for the time being. Now, we're going to go on the daily Now look at what it's doing now, okay, on the daily. Okay, against the US dollar actually, it's actually making higher highs and higher lows. Now, that's today. Um, that's actually a very good sign, guys. However, a lot of times, this is a rising wedge, okay? This is a rising wedge formation, guys. Check it out. A lot of times in a rising wedge formation, you see a breakout to the to the bottom, to the downside. All right. Now with falling wedges, you usually see a breakout to the upside. This is a rising wedge. Okay. Meaning, look at this. Typically, so what it was, it was a descending triangle from up here to here, um, an ascending triangle, and it broke out of that ascending triangle. However, right now it's creating a rising wedge meaning I think it's gonna break to the downside especially because it's following Bitcoin Bitcoin just took like a 15% plunge yesterday it's it's at currently I think it's at 8300 now the next support is 7500 I think it's gonna go down to 7500 Bitcoin at least and it will drag XRP down with it it's all part of the plan guys I think the Bitcoin price the backed price was priced in months ahead of time Okay, when we had that huge rise to fourteen thousand dollars, I think they already knew about backed. Okay, um, these were the big players. They they heard about backed before it happened. They brought they brought in their money, bought it. They bought up their Bitcoin, and then when backed happened, that was the planned date to to dump. Okay, now this is actually a very bullish thing, guys, because before a big rise, usually we see a big dump, and then a much bigger rise. All right, so. In this, consol in this consolidating uh, rising wedge, it looks kind of like a dead cat bounce. And it looks like it will drop to the downside again. However, I can't tell you for sure it's, if that's going to happen. But everything does look definitely more bearish in the short term than bullish. All right. For that reason, I think we will go down to... I'm going to go back on the monthly... I think we will, oh, the yearly, actually. I think we will go down to 15 cents. The next the next support, guys, is 15 cents. And I'll show you where, right over here. The next major support is about, well, the next major support is about 22 and then 20 and then about 15. Okay, so I'll check it out. It respected this trend line right here. I'm sorry, it's this one right here. Zoom out a little. You could go down to right here, okay? It could even drop down to like 13 cents and then jump right back up, all right? Because that's a support, these two lines. Okay, now, but it respected this 15 cent line multiple times before bouncing back up. It didn't go below this 15 cent line for, it was, it was, it hasn't been below this 15 cent line for over two years. Okay. It's been respecting it strongly. And then it went up from there. Okay. 
for that reason i think it could definitely go down to 15 cents and then bounce up from there and i think that would be the bottom all right now quantum financial system guys quantum financial system is a theory however it makes a lot of sense with what's going on if you put the pieces together um now there, there are many aspects there are many perspectives on the new quantum financial system i strongly suggest you watching one of my videos about it and also just go check it out type it in look it up look up different articles about it okay um now there are a lot of things there are a lot of things that um you can do to look it up i'm not going to go too much into it this guy's getting really loud it's hard for me to even uh hear my own self because of this construction that just for some reason they they started right in the middle of my video so anyways i'm gonna wrap it all up soon okay now go to sarah westall's channel okay oh my god i gotta come back into the starbucks or something this guy's getting ridiculous sorry guys give me one second all right i'm gonna come into the starbucks so that I can hear my own self talk, because I can't even hear myself talk out there. All right, and I'm gonna wrap up this video in about five minutes or so. All right. Much quieter, huh? Now, where where was I? I'm gonna go to. I want to show you. This is a great interview Sarah Westall did with this man named Kent Lewis. All right. Now I checked him out. Um, very interesting because he talks about how the Federal Reserve controls Bitcoin, created Bitcoin and controls it. It's a very good theory. It makes a lot of sense. And I, I urge you guys to go to Sarah Westall, subscribe to her channel. Go subscribe to her channel. Okay. And watch this video. Okay. Now I watched the video and I liked it. And I went to Kent, Kent Lewis's Twitter and I followed him. Now, he has a very interesting website that he created. Now check it out. He goes into a lot of things here that we like to go into. And um, for that reason, I urge you to go check out this website, freedom.social. All right? Look at the topics that he goes into. 5G, stop it now. 9-11 Truth, Agenda 21, AI plus 5G. Audit the Federal Reserve, which is going to happen. Big Pharma exposed and defeated. A lot of good stuff, guys. All right. For that reason, I just want you guys to go check it out. I will definitely be trying to get him on a live stream with us to share his theory on how the Fed created Bitcoin and what the future holds for the new financial system. Go check it out. Okay. Go check out his website. He also does have a cryptocurrency um, that he created that is not exposed to uh, the government. Okay. Government will have no control over it. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into that. Okay. He has really good theories. Now, um, the last thing I want to do is give a shout out to Brad Kimes and the Bearable Bull. Very good interview. Very good live stream that Brad Kimes had with the Bearable Bull on his channel this morning. You will learn a ton, a ton about what's coming up. Okay. Um, you'll learn about SBI, MoneyGram. Uh, Brexit, you'll learn about the, the, how XRP ties into the whole financial future of the world, the, the whole system, okay, how it is going to affect everybody in the world. And, it, and they both have a unique view, very smart, very logical, um, a little hopium in there, which is very healthy, I think. Hopium is very healthy, especially when you take into the the fact that uh, when you when you put it the fact that the law of attraction is always there ready to be used to your advantage okay now I want to give the Rebel Bull and Brad Kimes a shout out go subscribe to them on Twitter both of them okay investment perspectives back up Bradley on Twitter back up Bradley go subscribe to his channel follow him on Twitter okay um, back up Bradley, Brad Kimes does live streams every single day, every day, twice a day. Okay. For the ones in, on the, on the, on the East coast, 
who are, you know, it's too late for them to check it out in the afternoon, they can watch in the morning. You know, it, he does two live streams every day. Very good guests on his uh, live stream with very good information, okay, pertaining to our biggest investment, XRP. All right? Now, also, I want you to go check out Bearable Bull. Go subscribe to his channel, okay? He does list many Many good, many very good factual views on the news that comes out every day about XRP and how it ties into our $589,000, $10,000 XRP in the future. Go check him out. Okay, bearable bull. Shout out to you, bro. All right, you guys. So that will conclude this video. Please, like I said before, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I do a live stream or put out a video full of great content going places you will see no one else go. All right. Sincerely, Crypto Mike. You guys have a great day. Love y'all. Be good people and hot strong.